Mr. Traveler here. Out riding the bikes on a nice day. Got my brother-in-law behind me and his wife and way back there in the back somewhere is my wife. Do it, do it. <laughs> and I thought what would be a good topic for today is for the new cruisers out there. A little comparison between Royal Caribbean and Carnival. Now, I've been on both. But I use Carnival more often than not. And my brother-in-law and his wife, they cruise Royal Caribbean more often than not. But they've been on both. So in a few, I'll take a break here and uh, talk to you for a minute. All right, everybody. Well, I broke my, my mount on my camera Hi, for my guys. GoPro. Anyway, this is my brother-in-law and his wife, my sister-in-law over Hi. here. Hello. Uh -huh. Mr. and Miss Big Baby. Yes, Big Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. we international travelers. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we all enjoy traveling. We travel together quite a bit, too. We're on the bikes today. And like I was park. telling you all earlier, uh, we tra have traveled Carnival and Royal Caribbean, but we mostly travel Carnival. And they're the opposite. They have traveled travel both, Royal Caribbean. Mm -hmm. but they had travel mostly Royal Caribbean or whatever. So we're going on platinum for Carnival. And what's your level of Royal Caribbean? Diamond. Diamond Plus. Okay, Diamond Plus Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean. So we just want to talk to the new cruisers out there and just give them some heads up on, you know, if they're deciding between a Royal Caribbean and the Carnival, like what's some of the pros and cons. So what's the most you like about Royal Caribbean? First of all, what's, how many cruises have you guys been on? Uh, a lot, 20. <laughs> maybe 20. Yeah, about 20. But we have Travel Carnival. We do like Carnival. We always do mostly Royal Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, we're building so, up our points. Yes. So what I like about Royal Caribbean, um, to me, they're more classier, more elite. Uh, they travel more places. They go to different places. Real As of cool. right now, we just got back from Dubai. And actually, you'll see that video coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, just got back from uh, Jerusalem, Israel, uh, Oman, uh, Turkey, Santorini, uh, places of, of that sort, uh, Asia, uh, as opposed to Carnival, they don't go as far as uh, right. many places as uh, Royal Caribbean does. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Um, I like the amenities that they give you. Um, it's always a surprise waiting in your room um, in the evening time. They have uh, parties exclusively for their return guests, a um, lot of free drinks, a lot of free food, uh, just for those particular uh, level passengers. Um, I like the high class of the ship. I love the ships because they're pretty, real nice. The customer service is excellent, never had a problem. If it is, it's soft right away. I love the staff. And we're going to travel the largest ship in the world come August, the Oasis. And I'm looking forward to that, doing the rock climbing. Uh, I have a surfboard on the back with the flow rider before it couldn't get up. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of the amenities. I want to see the diving show. We have been ice skating on some of their ships. Uh, I like Carnival as well. Good food, good pictures mm. Carnival have. Uh, their parties on their carnival ship is off the hook, <laughs> as opposed to Royal Caribbean. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like both cruise lines, but I prefer Royal Caribbean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I don't disagree with anything that they said there. Uh, you know, I have noticed that the Royal Caribbean ships are, generally do end up being a little bit more elegant, mm -hmm. uh, a little more refined. Carnival is. I'm not going to say a party ship. It's been kind of badly branded as the party ship. You know, um, there are those times, you know, spring break and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But they do have more parties, like the clubs are seem to be more jumping on the uh, carnival boats. Um, and he's correct, they don't go as many places. Uh, one thing that you'll notice a lot for both cruise lines is they have pulled out most of their ships in the summertime. You used to get a cruise in the summertime for dirt cheap. Right. And uh, Princess, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, celebrity. Celebrity, yep, Norwegian. Celebrity, Norwegian. They, they pulled all their boats out pretty much, I believe. Uh, Carnival and Royal Caribbean only leave one or two ships out there, you know, a little bit more than that, a handful of ships, and so the, the, the prices have skyrocketed. Um, I have noticed that the, I think, in, in my opinion, the rooms are slightly larger on the Carnival ships, the balcony rooms, uh, a little bit bigger. A little bit. Um, and the, the price point on the Carnival is definitely uh, a little cheaper. Um, what do you think about the excursions? 
excursions, I think, are pretty much on pretty par. Pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, the same. yeah they, they're pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, like he was saying, the carnival doesn't go as many places. They have a lot of uh, Caribbean. They do do the Alaska, that kind of thing. Whereas, uh, and they do do Australia also. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Royal Caribbean, you can find them in a, a lot more ports around the world. So. Yeah. We'll be in Australia, New Zealand. Yeah. yeah next next year. year, October. Yeah. So Look forward to the video. Yep. Look and forward to the comment video. Comment below yes. and tell us what's your favorite ship and which one you prefer, Carnival or Royal Caribbean. So you new cruisers out there, if you got any questions, hit us up. Mm -hmm. Hit the comments below. Or if you want to talk more to Big Baby and his wife, let us know. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, if you get some time, subscribe. We'd love to have you. Talk to you soon. We'll check our cruisers out. Bye. 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 <laughs>